Welcome to Carefree IT TV. In this video tutorial, we will be showing you how to create your customized signatures. In order to create those, first of all, you go to File, Options, Mail, and Signatures. Let's create a new signature and name it as my custom signature say okay so i have a blank signature right now and uh, the second step which i have already done is i created one folder and placed all the images that i require for the signature into that folder so my signature folder is this one and i have these few images from social media that I'll be using in my signatures, my company's logo, as well as our chat support, a custom designed graphics. My first step would be to simply create a text signature. Let's say with my name and my company address, let's say 155 Fisher Drive. Waterloo, Ontario, our phone number, and let's say I want to add some links here for my website, and I'm using pipe icon, a uh, pipe symbol here to separate different links, and um, in order to create this pipe symbol you press shift and forward slash let's say blog contact us map email so these are few of my links that i want to include in my signature and now i will be importing the images from that folder to my signatures in order to do that, we click this icon and this by default takes you to the picture folder, but you can always go to, uh, you can browse to the folder where you have all the doc images. And suppose I am picking up Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and YouTube. So you can select all of them by pressing control select insert so i have all these four images imported in my signature and let's say i want to import this one too so you can pick up one by one like i did for this one or you can select multiple by pressing control key and suppose i want to include my company's logo right next to my name so i click under my name click the same symbol here pick up the logo this time and say insert if you want some space you can do the space alignments and once this is done my second next step will be to add the hyperlinks to these images Hi adding hyperlinks means if somebody clicks on these links when you send an email along with your signature and if somebody clicks on this image this should go to my website in order to do that i select this image by clicking this image go to hyperlink which will be this icon and i type in the address where i want this link to go to so let's say my company's address website address i press ok same thing we will do for these images we will click this hyperlink icon and type in the address just make sure that you're type when you're typing you're typing the correct address and if you're not sure you can also copy paste it from the browser window so if i simply click on carefreeit.ca I can copy paste this address copying from here and let's say I'm pasting 
here. Same thing we do for LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. We click on the hyperlinks and we say the address. Same for the chat support. And we do exactly the same thing here. We highlight this text by double clicking the text. Click here and type in the address. And same thing, if you don't know the exact URL, you simply go to that URL where you want to traverse to. Let's say I want to, for the blog, I want to connect to News Bytes. So I'll copy this image and uh, this address and I'll paste it here so now blog is going to the news bytes page same thing for the contact us for the map i want if somebody clicks on this map, it should take him to our Google address. In order to do that, what we do is we go to maps.google.com and they type in the address. And once we are confirmed with like, it's showing us the exact address for the like your office address, you click on this link and it gives you the URL. Just copy this URL by right clicking and you paste this address. For the email, you can hyperlink it to, let's say, tutorials at carefree it.ca or your own personal email so now i'm done with the link part i have an option now to customize my signatures so you can change the font on your signatures the alignments and let's say i want to pick up instead of calibri i want to pick up ariel and i want my name as showing up bold you can change the size but I'm okay with 11. You can change it to maybe 12 or 16. It's personal choice of yours. I want this address to be showing up for size 8. And the font, same Arial. Same thing for the links. Let's say size 8. And I'm picking up Arial and you can also customize the color for the text right now it's blue with the hyperlink as a hyperlink blue i can change it to green so once you're done with the customization you can say okay and okay now let's go back to the new email and I have my new signature showing up here. Let's send one email. I'm sending it to myself. Test and this is test to check the hyperlinks. So in this test, what we will do is we will click on these images and see if they are showing up the right addresses. So I say send. Okay, I received the new email so when you click it if you click on this image it takes you to the website if you click on the map this will take me to my office map it's exactly same 
place from where we picked up that link if you click on the email it will open up another new message for the users and same for the Facebook YouTube okay we got one typo error here and which is why it's broken so in order to fix that we go back to file options signatures and this time we will be editing this so I had a typo for the YouTube I click on YouTube go back to the hyperlink and select and paste say okay okay and when you create a new email let's say test YouTube and say send and this time on your test YouTube if you click on YouTube it will redirect you to the correct page now so this is how we customize our signatures and um, add images to your signatures if you have any questions please feel free to write to us write to us at info at carefreeit.ca stay tuned for our new tutorial next week till then have a great time